Leo. What it be, yo? It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vira. It is Scorpion Red Tarot. I am back at it again. Yes, yes, yes. For the month of August 2020, show me the monthy. Do you understand me, baby? Yes, indeed. This is the eighth month of the year, my dear. This is about manifestations, balance, giving and receiving, managing all options before us, just being leaders and just being dominant, which Leos most definitely are. So shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked this video. If anyone would like to book a personal private reading with me, with Shira, with Vera, only thing you need to do is click the about tab and send me a message on Instagram. If you do not have Instagram, don't fret my pet. Only thing you need to do is send me a message on um Google, okay, email me, all right, at scorpionrays at gmail.com, and we'll get you all set up with Google Hangouts, okay, it's an easy app to download, it's free, and the only thing that we need to exchange in order to communicate with each other is our email, and you already have mine, which is scorpionrays at gmail.com, easy peasy, if there's anyone that these videos resonate, and you want to, um, Send love and light to the page. Um, you can donate through Cash App, PayPal. You can donate a debt to the uh, page. In any forms of donation, I really appreciate the love. Um, we got a lot of new uh, decks. I mean, we have probably like maybe six or seven new decks that I'm still taking my time rolling out to you guys. So I appreciate all of the support that you guys have given. I started this page with three decks. And now I have over 100, and a lot of them were because of the donations that you guys have given. So I appreciate you guys so much. I want to say happy birthday to my Leos. My mother's a Leo. I already know how y'all be on y'all boss hog shit. So we listen, we just we just gonna stay out your way and let y'all run the show for this whole month. Okay? We're gonna let y'all do it. We're gonna let y'all run it, okay? All right, listen. So listen, let's get into the prayer for today. Father God, thank you so much for just being heavily bound to us, Father God. You were just like bound to us every inch by inch that we are like, it, you are such an amazing creator. And, you know, sometimes when you create things, it's like you can't just create things and just be like, okay, I'm done. I'm finished. Boom. It's like you got to stay with your creation. You got to make sure it thrives. You got to make sure if you got to, like, do any type of server updates or anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you create a social media platform or any type of, like, inter I don't know why I'm seeing, like, internet platforms or some type of platform where um, it's constantly needing to be either, not refurbished, but updated, like the software constantly needs to be maintenance and updated um that's what i'm seeing for you guys like i'm really really seeing like you guys ever doing an upgrade or getting upgraded or you guys doing like self maintenance or something like that that can help you run the show so like father god thank you so much for just readily preparing us for our blessings because sometimes our body be moving and we don't even realize it's moving like have you ever um started preparing your life you know i, I want to say like nesting like your body is your body your body naturally starts nesting once you get in that like ninth month of pregnancy to prepare for the baby and it's just like you just start cleaning and organizing and doing all of the stuff you know it's just like a natural process for you so i feel like right now you guys are going through that as above so below what i put out i receive right back so i'm putting out greatness and i'm making sure that i'm doing the necessary upgrades with myself so that i can make sure that i am working at my primal optimum energy i don't even know if i'm using the right words whatever but y'all get me father god um thank you so much for every single thing that you have done to push us to get to the point that we're at right now we're here for the sign of leo we would like to get some guidance for them for this month of august 2020 we thank you again and we thank you in advance for all the blessings that you have planted before our feet father god we give it all to you amen all right so let's see what we got here for my Leos. This is the archetype deck. 
I love this deck because I just love that it's shining bright like a diamond. Okay? Shine bright like a diamond. Bright lights in the beautiful sea. I want to be happy. Ooh! You and I, you and I, like diamonds in the sky. You got the poet. I'm serious. I am so serious about this because you see that crystal ball there and then you see the crows in the back. The crows represent like spiritual messages. It represents secrets. You know what I'm saying? It's like some type of mystery or something like that. And even with the crystal ball, it's like someone trying to reach out to source to get some type of information to get some type of spiritual downgrade to get some type of I, are you guys like writers in some type of sense and this is the number seven the number seven represents wisdom it represents spirituality you know what I'm saying? I'm serious. I'm really serious. I feel like you guys are getting some type of spiritual upgrades because you guys have to tell people something. The number seven represents withdrawal to gain knowledge, spiritual inclination. You know, like you guys have a message that you have to share through your work of writing. Now I'm interested to see what this what this deck is about to say because in regards to your spiritual path and what you were put here to do, I feel like your literature, your writing holds a lot of information that people overlook constantly. It's something about you keep telling people something and it's like you're so close to source and you know the truth. You know something that's hidden. And I want to say that you are placing the answers in your art. In the things that you say. It's like people need to decode your words in order to figure out. Because it's something about you're not going to make it easy for them. Because it wasn't easy for you to decipher this information. They have to decipher this information at this poet. And again... It could even be like, I'm going to break it down to you like this. Have you guys ever been at a metro station or, you know, whatever your public transportation station is. And like a random person just walks up to you and just hands you a pamphlet of like uh, biblical scriptures and like poems and stuff like that or whatever. And they just literally walk up to you and only you and just disappear like it's a damn angel or something. You're like, well, where the fuck did this person go? And why isn't this person passing out this little booklet to anybody else? Why did this person just come to me and disappear? Y'all, that has happened to me so many times and it freaks me out sometimes. It really, really do. It's like God is sending a messenger. So y'all... Pay attention if someone just walks up to you out of random and just be like here. It hands you something and it has like some type of poetry, some type of song lyrics or something. Read it. And something hidden in those words that it was a message that was sent to you from spirit that you're going to have to sit down and decipher. If you're not the poet, you will be receiving messages. I wanted to say a secret, a secret entity, but I really didn't want to say that. But like, I'm serious. Like, it's like angels. It's like angels. It's like, it's like angels. That's the only thing I can say. It's like someone is searching for something. You've been asking God to make a way for something or somebody or a situation. And the answers are coming. It's just not coming in the form of which you're supposed to answer coming to you. You have to sit down and decipher that poem. The tower, again, something unexpected. And it's leading you to different set of steps. It's leading you to a stairwell. I'm serious. Like, why? And then the King of Cups. Like, what the? F the King of Cups is a poet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So let me look into this real quick. 
All oh, these stairs, the staircase. All of these doors. Now, what is this lady doing on the stick? Do y'all see this car? Can y'all see it? I feel like on every on, on every staircase, there's a different door with a different messenger. A different door with a different messenger. And are these books? It's like paper being thrown all over the place. It's like... Doesn't this look like books or papers being thrown all over the place? I'm serious. Some information is going to come to you. It could be from a male energy, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Whatever it is, you're going to want to consume it. And I mean, you're going to consume all of it because, number one... This person comes the fuck out of nowhere. It's like this person just come walks up to you just like, here, read this. And disappears, my nigga. And disappear. And you might go, like, after this person, like, hey, hey. And you, like, well, where did they go? Well, which stairs? I thought they went up these stairs. And it's like, you're trying to follow this person. Or it's like, you're trying. And I even, okay, now I'm even getting it. You keep, okay. Because it's just coming to me too quick. Either this person is giving you information in your dreams. Or you meet this person. They hand you this pamphlet. This poem. This brochure. Whatever it is. It freaks you out. It's just something that just happens sudden. And you keep having a repetitive dream. About this person handing you this literature. Because you don't understand where it came from. And it, I feel like it's going to freak you out. Because of whatever is going on in your life at this time. What this person gives you. This poem. It gives you. I, I feel like you're going to cry. It's going to freak you the fuck out y'all. I promise you it's going to freak you out. Because it's just like. Who sent you? Like how did you know? Why did you only give this to me? I need to understand this. I really feel like. There's going to be some sudden understanding in regards to why you're going through something in your life. And this information, you're going to consume it all. Because it's going to make you a better person. And I think it's going to open you up to realize like your path. And if you guys haven't been writing... It's going to encourage you to start writing. If you're not the poet, someone is going to interrupt your current state of being. This normalcy is going to shake you up. You are going to realize your life purpose and your path. You're going to be given some information from the spiritual realm. It's not just like no regular ordinary being. A being is a Spiritual entity is an angel that has come to giving come to give you some information that you have to relate to the world. If the poet is not giving you the poem, then you are being shook up to create the poetry. I'm hoping I'm making sense. Give me guidance in regards to life and purpose for my Leos. They're saying, like, there's a whole bunch of strange current events taking place right now. Time to decide just popped out. There's a lot of numbers on this card. A lot of numbers on this card. So, it's something about refocusing and rebalancing. What is this? Books. What is this? Creative expression. Again, I just said something about pages of a book like all over the place seeing somebody somebody's in search of a library they're saying study 
to think about what you're going to say. Okay, so now I'm getting it. You're going to be somewhere. Someone is going to walk up to you, going to give you some information. It's going to freak you out. Why did they just give this to me? It's going to lead you up this stairwell, up this path. And search for more information because the way that this shit just happened, it was just like, it just came out of nowhere. I feel like you guys are going to start studying something. And again, written creative expression. Written creative expression. First off, I feel like you guys have to find yourself for some reason. You have to find yourself because it's such of an intricate way, the way that you relate information, the way you describe things, the way that you have this dominant and masculine but yet loving way of how you consume and you teach people to consume something. I feel like you're, it's like your words are teaching people how to properly consume something because if you don't, it'll consume you. Blue represents like peacefulness, you know, it represents peace. It represents peace. It represents cool waters to me. I think that's what this person is trying to help. Cool waters. Tranquil blue. It's time to decide. It's time with these numbers. It's like it's time for you to figure out. It's time for you to figure out what it is that you're going to say. Make the decision based off of your heart's truest desires. Your connection of your life purpose has an involvement with books. And it says your soul longs to express itself freely. So, let me just keep going. Clarify the King of Cups. What message is this? What is he consuming? They're saying it. It's like how to love yourself. I want to say that possibly someone could have had a drinking problem in the past or substance abuse. It's like something that they were consuming the wrong way. It was like you were consuming something in the wrong way. And it's like right now you're consuming how to love yourself. And you might be expressing yourself through these poems. But I feel like maybe whatever you've been writing. Like, I feel like someone has lost their creative touch for some reason. It's you've been consuming the wrong information. You've been consuming the wrong thing. And it comes out in your art. Whatever this message that comes to you suddenly. It does change you and put you on a, on, on a where you were on the wrong path. It's putting you on the right stairwell. Is leading you to the right information. And again, like I said, these books are all over the place. It's like a library or a place to study, a place to relax, have a beverage, and sit down and educate yourself about something. It's time to decide. It's time to educate yourself and it's time to put that shit in writing. It's time to put it in writing. Okay. King of Cups, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. I thought I knew it. I knew it. So first, let's go on over here with the, the tower. So to clarify the tower right here, again, something that comes suddenly. You got the Hierophant in the reverse. So the Hierophant in the reverse means like a break in commitment, a break in wanting to sacrifice yourself for the greater good of the organization you know so you guys might be and then you got the six of swords so it's like you are definitely leaving um an institution or a model way of living some way that people taught you or instructed you or you have to abide by some rules it's like i don't want to do that shit no fucking more 
<laughs> like, I don't like these rules. I don't like your kind. I don't like your way. You know? Like, you might have, like... Someone comes along because the Six of Swords is always someone helping you to remove yourself from something that no longer suits your mental. No longer suits your mental. You have to understand, in order for your body to operate appropriately, your mind got to be together. It's either some, some, some type of rules, regulation, control, someone that you had to answer to that you didn't want to answer to, someone that you felt like didn't put the same effort, didn't respect the same creed that you did. And it's like, you know what? Like, why the time to decide? Make your decisions based on your heart's true desires. If someone desires... To let go. And to set a better standard of life. But it's, it, it is something. About, it's something had to come. Suddenly. It's like you almost had to be forced. To leave. Do you understand? Forced to leave. Someone had to walk up to you. God had to send an angel to you. And give you a poem. That literally internally made you cry. Because you know a Leo is not going to cry in front of no motherfucking body. But internally. You turned into yourself, and after you read that shit, it made you go look for that person. How did you know to give this to me? Like, who sent you? Like, who are and you couldn't find them? And it's for a reason because it made you find yourself. It made you decipher those words. It made you come closer to source because it's just like a mystery with them crows. How the fuck did this person just pop out and just? It just changed my, it's something, it just changed your fucking life because it sent you up a different set of steps. It sent you, listen, when they say my steps have been ordered, baby, your steps have been ordered. If this thing didn't happen, if this person didn't come to you in the way that they did, I feel like you would have stayed committed or have kept trying to consume something that really wasn't fueled with love you see what i'm saying you see how this man is drinking a cup that barely got anything in it listen the ace of cups in the reverse means it's like a one-sided situation it's something that only benefits one person or one person only um not emotionally satisfying emotionally gratifying um Nothing. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's just constantly, constantly giving, no receiving. And if I receive anything, it's a fucking drop. It's barely enough to quench my thirst. And when I put my heart into something, I want to consume it all. You know? So, it's something about... I feel like someone was consuming something that wasn't created of love. The tower represents sudden change, a force of change, a force of nature that force you. Like a flood of emotions where it's like you can't turn away. There's no way to go ever. You're going to sink or you're going to fucking swim. You know? Ever I'm going to sink or I'm going to swim. Whatever was in this cup, it wasn't beneficial to you. It wasn't loyal to you it wasn't good for your body like this is this is like kool-aid you know what i'm saying it is nothing but sugar water food coloring you know what i'm saying it's like it's nothing of any type of substance to you i feel like Source, which is God, had to come and had to make you recommit yourself to yourself. It's like, why are you trying to give this cup to someone that don't appreciate it? Or you are committing yourself to an opportunity or organization or something that... The only thing they give a fuck, fuck about is what benefits their own. That's it. And you're not one of their own. You're one of the workers. You're not... A high ranking exec or someone that's going to benefit from everything. So if I'm not going to benefit from it. What the fuck am I here for? 
Let me call my folks and help me to fuck up out of here. I quit. I don't know if you guys quit. It's like y'all ever quit from a job. You have to quit trying to fix something and work something out with somebody. Committing yourself to rules or obligations that were no longer suited for you. It looks like someone, and again, swords represents information. It represents intelligence. Someone came and gave you some type of information that made you think straight. And they're helping you get away from something that you shouldn't be committed to anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Something that doesn't love you anymore and you don't love it. You know? This push is going to help you, number one. I feel like get your creative energy back. And start writing again. And maybe if you never wrote, like, try to start writing your feelings in the way that you tried to commit yourself. In a way that, because you're the king of cups. It's like at the end of the day... The King of Cups is someone that is like he'll sacrifice himself to make sure that everybody else is happy, to make sure that everybody else is okay. And he'll hold a poker face. You know what I'm saying? Like you will never really know uh, truly how he feels inside because he's going to sacrifice for him to make sure that you're okay. You see what I'm saying? And this whoever this King of Cups said, no, 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 no. That ain't working for me. Instead of me giving you this cup, I drink it my damn self. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you don't appreciate it or if I'm not going to get the recognition that I deserve, it's time for me to decide to drink my own cup and stop trying to give it to someone who don't appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Dead ass. Hey, you guys, I'm recording. Okay. So let's see what's going on in love, and then we up out of here, you guys. And I will clarify if I need to. This could very much so have something to do with love or it could have something to do with a business or a job opportunity. If you're just committing yourself to a lifestyle that it just needs to change. It just needs to change. And it could have something to do with substance abuse, you guys. It could definitely have something to do with substance abuse. So we got the sword in the rose and then heartbroken in the reverse. So heartbroken... Clearly. Now they're telling me it's lack of faith. It's lack of faith. Like, people that... I don't want to say it like that, but it's like... A group of people that believe in love and a group of people that just don't. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why am I wasting my energy in, in, in around people that don't believe in what I believe in? You know what I'm saying? Like, wh why? Why? Why am I trying to fit? I don't, I don't fit in here. It's like, let me just call my folks to come help me pick my shit up and fucking leave. Like, and I, and I thank God every single day that God sent that messenger, that messenger to help me see what I needed to see to get out of this. You know what I'm saying? Because the sword of the rose means clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power. Listen, this is someone protecting you. This is someone that came to protect you. Do you see this woman? It's this woman and her child, and there's someone armed and able to get you to the other side. It's, it's someone is getting you out of a commitment that was no longer committed to you or that you no longer should have been committed to and helping you get to the other side. It's not about... It's not about being heartbroken right now because we get it. You know what I'm saying? You try to commit yourself. You try to give yourself to something that didn't want to give itself to you or just just didn't work out. So it's now it's time to go to another road. And if it wasn't for this time moment, like God had to force you to leave. God had to not only force you to leave. He had to force you to drink your own cup and stop trying to give it to someone else. But he also forced you to take assistance from someone. I feel like it's something about you guys haven't been forced to let someone help you. That's why with these books, I feel like you're having to decide and you're having to study and, and, and learn another way. 
You're having to learn another way. Heartbroken. Deeply hurt. Sad. Separation. Breakup. Feeling lost. Grieving. Mourning. This is in the reverse. This card came out in the reverse. And the other card came out in the reverse. Um, I feel like you're being coached and you're being talked to on this journey here. To help you get to the other side of this situation. And again, this person is giving you a whole bunch of spiritual downloads. A whole bunch. Like you're being, your system is being upgraded while you're moving to another side. Do you understand? Like you're moving away from whatever this was. Whatever this was, and I and, and I, I want to say that this could definitely have something to do with someone's art and their creativity too. It's like taking your baby and moving elsewhere. Like I'm not going to continue to let people take advantage of me, and it's just a one-sided situation. The sword and the rose, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, and power. This came out in the reverse, so. The reason why this came out in a reverse is because I feel like this person is coaching you and helping you to regain your power, your clarity on this situation, like why you had to go. Because I feel like you were you you were forced to leave. Like something happened suddenly where I feel like you didn't have it, it wasn't a situation where you could turn back. These words, this situation, this sudden event, this sudden happening forced you to decide. What's the outcome in this situation for my Leos? But it looks like you're coming out of a heartbreak. It's like you're working past getting over what didn't work out so that you could truly see things clear. But it's hard and you need assistance with it. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what this is saying. You're needing assistance to get out of a situation and see things clearly. Okay. We got the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. That came out in the reverse. So what this means is, like I said... And I told you before this even came back, it's no going back. Whatever it is, it's done. It's done, done, done. Um, when the Grim Reaper comes out in the reverse, either that can mean that you're struggling, letting something go, or it means rebirth. Okay? Not enough passion, self indulgent. All right, let's break this down. So, frustrated in a relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, jealousy. So, again, now what this is basically saying is like you're having a hard time letting it go. It's like God is moving you away from this shit to give you a second chance to help you rebirth. But only thing this person is thinking about is that they're not enough, that things didn't work out, that... This situation got the best of them. And you have to turn that around, baby. Don't ever feel like you're not enough. You're just enough for the right situation and the right person. These people, this situation, this organization, whatever this shit was, was trying to clown you. Don't ever let a motherfucker play with you or clown you. And don't ever play with or clown yourself in making you feel like you're not good enough. You are just enough. You are more than enough. But you weren't deserving to those people and to that organization. They didn't deserve you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So now it's time for you to, instead of like suffocating yourself with the with these thoughts of not being enough and what didn't work out, the who, what, when, why, and how, it's time for you to focus on the rebirth. Because again, like it says the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life is over. Done. Diddy dum dum, divorce, finalized, finito, finish. Don't what they say when you if you turn back, you know, turn to a pillar of salt. Do not look back. Do not. 
There's no passion. There's no love there. There's no generosity. There is no giving and receiving. God is taking you to a place where you're more capable and able to give and receive every single thing that you believe in. You understand? Remember, the Hierophant in the reverse is people that don't have any faith. They don't believe in anything. They don't care. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like It can literally meet, mean someone that doesn't believe in God. Doesn't believe in church. Doesn't believe that. It could be like an atheist. You see what I'm saying? Someone that doesn't believe all the spiritual stuff that you're talking about. And, you know, like they believe in science. <laughs> you, you feel me? They don't believe in faith and as above, so below. And they don't believe it. They believe in science. There's no spiritual law. Who is this God you're talking about? Who is this God you're talking to? Like, that's, that's that type of person. That's that type of energy. And you got to understand when you surround yourself around people that have a lack of faith, that don't believe in anything, and you very much so are the foundation of faith. You are a walking testimony of what faith is. If you continue to surround yourself and fit in around people like that, it would diminish everything that is that jewel that is inside of your chest that God made you. It'll make you lose your passion. It'll make you lose your love. It'll make you feel so low on yourself when you start drinking and smoking and just doing anything to dull the pain and just keep this poker face on and stuff like that while you're surrounded by people that don't love you, don't give a fuck about you. No. No. It says, insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun, baby. This is in the reverse. It's in the reverse. The passion and the love is gone. And anytime that you're in a situation where you're feeling like you're not enough, it's time to go. Self-indulgent. All right? Focus on self. Self-work. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. It's time for you to see yourself as what you are. You can never see yourself as what you are if you're around people that don't even believe in what you are. Don't ever look for love from an outside source. You know what I'm saying? First off, you got to love yourself first and then that love will come to you. When you go looking for it, you're looking for trouble. Only thing you need to do is understand and get your spark of life back. It's like you got to get your spark of life back, my, my, my baby. It's, it's, it's. You were around people that didn't deserve you. And if God didn't push you and if this didn't happen, you wouldn't have seen that you were consuming a false love. A false narrative. Something that wasn't true and something that wasn't honorable. Something that was actually demeaning and defeats the purpose of every single thing that God made you to be. There's a breakup, there's a divorce, or someone is getting fired, and someone is moving away, but they're moving away with assistance. And the tower is not a bad thing. The tower is what needs to happen. Why? Because we have free will to make changes on our own, and we don't do it. So God forces it to happen. It was going to happen regardless if you wanted to or not. Do you understand? But be blessed. That God gave you assistance. Because there's some people that shit gets shut the fuck down. And they just are made to sit on their ass and think about it and figure it out on their own. You understand? You got assistance. Listen to the words and the wisdoms, the poems or whatever. Biblical scripture. I don't know what this is. But whatever it is, it is spiritual information that is giving you the secret key to life. To make your life worth fucking living to the fullest. Okay? I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. That's what God is saying about his baby. Which is you. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. Ain't nobody about to come and play with my motherfucking babies. Because I come through this bitch and I shut it down. She or he might not understand it, but I shut it down because you ain't about to play with my baby. Mm hmm And I will surely send you up a new direction, okay? And you're going to take some time and you're going to study. 
okay? You don't get yourself together. And when it come time for you to express yourself, oh, honey, when it's hard, when this art come out, you're going to pay it forward. The same way someone just came and handed something to you that changed your life, that helped you divorce and get out of this shit, you are going to be the next angel. The Mark's angel. You're going to walk up and you're going to hand someone something. Your art. Your words. And you're going to change your life too. Each one teach one. You feel me? So I love you. Thank you for loving yourself. And... I can't wait to get in these cards. I cannot wait to see the comments on this one. I love you guys. If you want to book with me, send me a message on Instagram or email me at scorpionrez at gmail.com. Peace.